I know. Most mornings start the same on our farm. A hot cup of tea, a cup of coffee, the kids each have their own. We sit, we snuggle, and we talk about our day. If it's the dance ballet and we would looking to our dance. Soon we've had our fill of tea and coffee. We've had all the snuggles and it's time to get going on chores. There's animals to be fed, children to be fed, and beds to be made. As I draw the curtains, I reveal a world that's not quite awake. By the time we make our way outside, the animals are awake and waiting for us. First, there are chicken scraps to take out to the chicken coop. It can be a daunting task just making our way down the icy driveway this time of year. The eye stretches treacherously in every direction. There's no safe path to take. But we do it day after day, night after night, to take care of our animals. What are you doing? Hey. Oh. Good morning, little puppy. Hello. Don't get your head through. Oh, 
so sweet. Can I have a cup of tea? It's such a cold morning that we have the blower on so that our wood stove can circulate better throughout our house. I give our little plant babies a nice spritz of water. You can't see it very well, but that's what I'm up to. Three degrees Fahrenheit. That's a pretty cold morning, even for us folks who are used to it up here in the north. All of our little plant babies that we started together are doing so well. The peppers and leeks, they're looking really good. They're not bothered by the cold. They're here under this nice warm heat lamp. After all of the chores, I like to take a shower and then I come up to my room and have a few minutes of quiet time with a cup of tea to start my day. I like to read my Bible and set anything on the calendar that I've forgotten, just take a look and kind of get my day going. It makes such a huge difference. After my quiet time, I'm ready to rock and roll. We get breakfast and then we get straight into homeschool. 15. That's a one and a five. 20. Now 20. Mm -hmm. This is how we do 20. 20. Ouch. Oh, wait. No. 20. Oh, Okay, look, Father, I am weak, but you look into my heart and you help me. H.C. Anderson, look. Look. It smells bad. Why else? Smells it. Okay, Father, I am weak, but you look into my heart and you help me. H.C. Anderson, look. 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 Look.
ass on the hill. Wait, what's the A? She needs some sit. Sit. Uh, sit. 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 Down. 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 Good girl. Okay, now get the door back. Put it right here. Get my ice cream. Good girl. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh yeah! I think yeah. she approves. <laughs> and the pup approves. Oh my goodness. Okay, time for her to go play. We're all done with school for the day, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these kids outside, and then she's gonna go outside, and I'm gonna get some work done. So it's about 15 degrees outside now. It was three degrees this morning when we woke up. It's a little bit chilly, but as long as it's above 10, I don't really care. The kids do just fine. They regulate themselves. After the kids have had plenty of outside time and the puppy is thoroughly worn out, they come back in, I finish working, and then we go ahead and make lunch. Not every day is the same, but pretty similar. I am making homemade cauliflower cheese for lunch. My kids don't really love cauliflower though, so I'm going to make them mac and cheese. Um, if you are interested, I already showed you guys how to make this before, and I will be happy to link the card for you. You should definitely check out that. It's one of our favorite lunches. We don't really have lunch a ton. Actually, what's funny is I'm pretty sure we had oatmeal on this <laughs> the same day that I taught you how to make this in the other video. But it was very cold today. It's like, well, I think the high is not even above 20 degrees today, so I'm trying to cook warm things. Wednesdays are a little bit busy, um, like she just said, she goes to ballet on Wednesdays, and the boys do a woodworking class. Yeah. We don't do a tremendous amount of activities, mm -hmm. but since we homeschool and we homestead, it means that we can get cramped up on the farm, especially in the winter time, so I do try to do, well, let the kids do a couple of different things. Now, I also have a couple of gallons of milk. Usually yeah. I get our milk processed um, as soon as I can after we get it. This is like a week old already. Um, and the reason it's a week old is because I put it in our shop fridge and then it got really cold and so it froze. So I've had it sitting out on the counter. I'm just gonna use as much as possible right now. I still have enough milk and I have to pick up more milk today. So I'm probably going to soak our chicken feed and our duck feed in this. And that way it doesn't go to total waste. I just I just don't have time. I haven't been feeling great. And um, it kind of stacked up on me, so. All right, so I've decided what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep one, because I never like to throw away my milk. Not throw it away, but use it in a different way um, besides just daily use. Uh, if I'm not 100% positive, and I know that we're getting close to drying off cows for calving season so I never know exactly what that's going to be since they're not our cows. They generally do a pretty good job at keeping in touch but on the off chance. So I'm just going to go ahead and use these. It's still a little frozen unfortunately which it'll be fine. Thank you. You're welcome. What, what are you doing? I know it might be more than a little frozen, but I gotta wash these jars. 
because we have to take them with us when we leave. Mommy, I want to do what you're doing Me too. What Mommy, is Eli doing? I'm making a... Doing, Still very frozen. Mommy, Shoot. Eli's doing a... his okay. project. Not right now. Go, you guys go play with... <laughs> go play... Throat. No, he's not. Okay. No, he's not. He's cutting the string off. Ben, stop it. We don't really drink milk just like in a cup or anything, but we cook with it and we make tea and coffee with it. I probably should be careful doing that. I wouldn't want to break this as my favorite jar. That would make me really sad. So I guess we're just going to leave this on the counter a bit longer. Um, Wednesday afternoons get a little bit crazy because I got to get my daughter ready for ballet. Um, the boys actually do not have woodworking today, so that buys me a little bit of extra time. Um, but I have quite a few other things I've got to accomplish before we leave. So let's get to it. I actually realized that I could just do the same thing. and I'll just use half of this one as well. Scrape off that good cream off the top there. I can't wait till our goats are back in milk. We have been, we dried them off. We took a break. Actually, we're just letting the babies stay on them. The moms. Um, we have two does who we milk. But I just needed a break for this winter, and uh, we will start milking them again. They're gonna be kidding at the end of March, the beginning of May. I was so excited. Um, and then I think the second one is going to go sort of middle May. I was trying to stagger them just a little bit, but I was trying to go with different times as last year we did our kidding and I messed the, well, I kind of messed the dates up because we brought home our new buck a month earlier than I had thought we were going to. And then I just put them in together without really thinking about it. So she ended up having babies in March, which March in North Idaho is an angry month, but I don't know what March's problem is, but it was like 20 degrees the night that she dropped her babies. Um, she had two, she did a great job cleaning them up and I was so excited. And then later, like an hour later, I went out and heard this really faint little noise and checked in and I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on? And it turned out that there was a third baby that had gotten through, oh, through a little tiny gap in the fence and was just sitting there and so we almost lost that one fortunately we didn't she accepted it back right away and cleaned it all up and i cleaned it all up and warmed it up we brought a hair dryer out there and everything was good um and then we had our second doe have babies in the summer and i was just trying to see you know which time frame we really liked the best and I definitely do not like summer babies because of the flies and it's just hot and then you're doing your first freshening you know or your other you know if you've had a secondary mom you know a freshening and you're doing all of that main milking when it's really hot out it's not so much fun so this year I'm trying to just stick with the you know first flush of green grass in the spring and get those goats to kid and then and then we'll just have babies and it'll be so fun i can't wait to take you guys along for that all right i'm just gonna leave this here for a little bit longer i do have a little bit of time left and then i will get the green into a bucket and we'll pour that in later and so this gallon we are gonna um feed to our chickens and our ducks and we're just gonna feed soak the grain overnight and we'll feed it out tomorrow. So one thing I have to do before we leave is that I need to get our dinner going. On Wednesdays I try to do like crock pot or casserole, something like that. We don't really eat a lot of pasta though. And um, so I do find that, that Wednesdays can be a little challenging. My, we all get home really late. So it's kind of like get home from all the activities and then eat really quickly and tuck the kids in and that's the end of the night. A little crazy. Our kids actually go to bed pretty early um, because they get up really early and it doesn't seem to matter if we put them to bed later. They just still get up early and I know that 
kids take after the mom sleep and I don't sleep and I and I'm an early bird so um, it's a little bit inconvenient in the winter time but the rest of the year it's totally great because we get all our chores done super early and we can go play and hang out and do stuff with friends because we're not still doing chores so tonight I'm actually making something that I made up once a really long time ago we don't make it very often um, I didn't even have a name for it. I just had an idea of like kind of a taste that I was going Hmm, the camera shut off for some reason. Anyway, so I was just going for some kind of taste that I that sounded good. So we ended up calling it like chicken taco bake. So that's basically what this is. I don't really follow a recipe. Generally speaking, I usually just use what I have on hand. But chicken, of course, is the main ingredient. Well, I made a mess. Mm -hmm. I dumped the can of black beans on the, on the floor. So I'm gonna have to clean that up. And I dumped it all down my apron. And that, my friends, is why I wear an apron. No worries. Yay! <laughs> Grab a new apron and carry on where I left off, right? No sense in getting fussed up about a silly little mess. Well, it's a little bit better. Goodness, I'm gonna drop it again. This black bean can is out for me. Well, now it's dealt with, so there you have it. So this is some chicken that my husband smoked up over the weekend. That's really nice when he can do that. He just if he's making a meal on the weekend, then I just have him make extra meat. And I can use that on our busy nights. So this is definitely not my favorite, my kids' favorite dinner. Um, so I'm not going to make a huge one. I'm just going to make an 8 by 8 So I'm going to go for about oh, a cup and a half to two cups of chicken if you want to use a 13 by 9 though you're welcome to do that just double everything and then i'll just save this chicken for another day all right then this is a can of cream of this is actually cream of celery soup five minutes five minutes okay five minutes Um, I have actually never used cream of celery soup in this, but that's what I have on hand. We don't really buy a lot of cream of any kind of soups, but there are those probably one or two holdout dinners that we make that require it. Um, and then we're going to load it up with some homemade salsa. Then I don't have any taco seasoning on hand. You can just use a packet of taco seasoning. That's just fine. <clears throat> Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of onion powder. This is homemade onion powder. A generous helping of chili powder. And some cumin. Mom, this sweater is feeling like it's getting a bit too small. Yeah, to it looks like it, buddy. Are you growing again? Always growing, these children. And then a little bit of garlic powder as well. <laughs> yes, you are. Do you need help? Yep. Go, babe. 
And then lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and put in like half a cup of sour cream. Um, and I think in the video that I mentioned, so I showed you guys how to make sour cream from scratch and I can go ahead and link that in the cards for you guys if you want. Um, and I had actually forgotten to take it out of my cupboard for an extra like six hours or so. Um, and it turned out great. It's not runny at all. It's, it's a, the best consistency. So I actually think I'm just maybe not incubating it quite long enough. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to incubate it a little bit longer. Um, now in the summertime, we'll have to watch it because it won't take as long as it'll be warmer in the house. Um, so I'm just spending about a quarter cup in this half a cup if you were going to do it, or if you want it really creamy, then you could do it, you know, like a whole cup of this. Um, I don't want to use too much cause I'm starting to run out and I need to make more sour cream. <laughs> I would rather make it more frequently and not have it go bad. And instead of making a big batch and then it goes bad on me, I don't like to waste food. So now that that's all there, I'm just going to mix it up. I like to use as few dishes as possible. So I'm going to use the fork that I use for shredding. This is going to be nice and creamy. And then as soon as I'm done mixing it, I'm going to grate this cheese. I'm going to grate my cheese directly into it. I've made this so many times. Um, but if you're wanting to measure probably a cup of cheese for an eight by eight or two cups for a 13 by nine, I will try, um, I'll put together a recipe for you guys. Kids are going back outside to play with Astrid again. Okay, I will be out in just a second, Eli. I'll be out in just a second. Kids and puppies need lots of fresh air, even when it's cold. Not going outside is not an option here in the north. It's cold all the time. Probably eight months of the year it's cold, so they don't mind. They don't mind. They bundle up and they're just fine. All right, stir that in. I love that I'm showing you guys how to make all of my not healthy, very quick meals. If there's things that you are interested in learning how to cook or you're wondering if I cook it, I would love for you to leave me a comment and maybe we can make something a little more interesting. I cook three meals a day, every single day, and we eat at our table together as a family. At least most of us do. Um, my husband's not usually here for breakfast or lunch. But that leaves us plenty of time for cooking. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and layer this. I have some corn tortillas here. Um, if you wanted to, you could just roll them up and more and have more like a chicken burrito. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna layer it with these. Actually, first we're gonna lay a little bit of this sauce down here, just so it doesn't stick to the pan. And then you can just put these in however, however it suits you. I just make them fit. And then add a layer. And just alternate that. Now, if you want to, you can cover the top in cheese. I don't know if I will do that or not. Maybe I will. We'll see what it looks like. You can. You don't have to. Probably gonna get 
three layers out of this. Okay, so you could go ahead and make this right before dinner and then pop it into a 350 degree oven for 20 to 30 minutes. Um, I'm actually going to cover it and put it in the refrigerator and so that I will have my husband take it out because he will be us home. And he will put the cold pan into a cold oven and he will preheat it with the pan inside the oven at 350. And we'll cook it for about 45 minutes, including the preheat time. <clears throat> and then we like to serve it because you can tell it's not a real thick consistency and of course it's gonna heat up. Um, but we like to serve it with tortilla chips and sour cream and salsa. You could always put a little bit of cilantro on the top or green onion if you wanted to. Really, I mean, you can just do whatever you want to with this. I love how simple it is. Sometimes I put beans. Actually, my kids are not gonna be happy with me that I put beans in it because they don't really love beans, but I had them and I needed to use them. So, so there's beans in it today, but that's the next thing. I'm gonna cover that and put, put it in the refrigerator and I'm gonna keep getting us ready to go. Okay, we made it back home. My husband's so great. He has dinner on the table for us. So we're gonna eat that and then we're gonna tuck our kids in and we're gonna call it a night. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys again real soon.